I'm Paul from the Bible. I thought I would tell you a bit about myself. I was born a Jew in Tarsus, which was protected by the Roman Empire and under Roman law. I felt safe. My family, I have a dad, a mum and a sister. I was named Saul when I was born and I changed my name later to Paul. And my father was a tent maker, an honest living. I went to school in a synagogue. I was in Jerusalem. I was about 12 years old, I think. In fact, I was just like you. And I just wanted to play. I just wanted to have fun. However, I was taught by the great teacher, Gamaliel. And I could speak four languages. Latin, Aramaic, Greek and Hebrew. They were great times at school. I hope you are enjoying it as well. Now, let's jump forward a bit to when I'm first mentioned. This was in Acts 7, 58. I was watching that disciple, Stephen, being stoned. And at the time, I thought this was the right thing to do. I even passed the stones over. I do feel ashamed. I feel so sorry. I even had authority to go into people's homes and put them in prison, if they were a Christian. Remember, I was not a Christian at this point, and I didn't believe in Jesus was the Son of God. I was so young and headstrong, I wish I'd known what I knew now. Now, this next step is the best thing to happen to me. You could say I saw the light. Yes. In fact, it was God telling me to follow him, and the light was so bright it blinded me for three days. This was known as the road to Damascus. I wonder if it'll make a movie about it. I can see the lights, the big screen. Oh, wouldn't it be good? Yes, I think they could. Mm. So, sorry, where was I? Uh, that's right, that's right. I have just got my sight back. I had to be baptised. I wanted to be a follower of Jesus, so I did. I was fully, fully submerged in water. I was born again, and this time I was a Christian, and my life would never be the same. Once I became a Christian, I then teamed up with my friends in Christ. There was Timothy, Silas, Barnabas and Luke. Luke was a doctor and he was the one who wrote all about me in the New Testament. In Acts, a great writer. If you get the chance, it's worth a read. We went around healing people in the name of Jesus and sharing the good news of his ministry. I was full of the Spirit and it was amazing sharing my faith everywhere I went. Now, not everyone was happy with this and I was attacked and threatened, nearly drowned. I was even stoned like poor Stephen, but I did survive this. I was put in prison. Even a poisonous snake bit me, but nothing was going to stop me because I knew my Lord and Saviour was with me. I then ended up in prison in Rome with Roman guards, but I saw another chance to share the good news. And you know what I did? I did! I shared it with the guards! It was amazing. When I look back, I had an amazing life, full of adventure. But the main thing that I remember is that Jesus loved me and used me, Paul, just me, Paul, to share the good news. I do hope you can say the same thing, that Jesus helped you share the good news of Jesus. Remember, be adventurous and stand up for your faith in Jesus. Now, let's watch a video of my life. I can see it, big screen. See you later, everybody. Bye. God's story, Paul. So part of God's story is about a man named Paul, and it begins like this. Paul was born in a city called Tarsus. Back then, being born in Tarsus was about as cool as being born in an amusement park. So Paul thought he was cooler than other people, especially the ones who were following Jesus. Paul turned into a real bully. He found ways to get people who were following Jesus thrown in jail, beat up, and even killed. One day, Jesus yelled from the sky, Paul, Paul, why are you acting this way? Then Jesus shined a really bright light, brighter than the sun, right into Paul's eyes. Paul couldn't see anything for three days. Kids, never look straight at the sun. Remember what happened to Paul. After Paul could see again, he decided to listen to God. And not just listen. Paul decided to spend his whole life telling people about God and God's son, Jesus. Paul knew if he was gonna tell people about God, he better get to know God. Paul found different ways to get to know God. Sometimes he fasted, which is when you skip a meal or many meals, and spend time praying to God instead. Other times, he snuck off alone so he could sit and listen to God. Paul said getting to know God was like training to run a big race. 
Sometimes training for a race takes work, especially if you want to win. Just like it can sometimes take hard work to fast or sit quietly and listen to God. But for Paul, knowing God was way better than winning first place, even if the prize is a million billion dollars. Once Paul knew God, he was so excited that he wanted to tell everyone, even people he didn't know. Paul became a missionary. A missionary is a person who goes to new places and tells people about Jesus. And even while he was doing this, Paul was writing lots and lots of letters telling other people about Jesus. Now sometimes, Paul found out that not everybody wanted to hear about God, but he told them about God anyway, just to make sure everybody had a chance to hear. Have you ever tried talking to somebody when they weren't listening to you? The people started getting really mad at Paul when he talked. They threw rocks at him, beat him up, put him in jail, and even tried to get rid of him completely. Guess what Paul did? He said he'd be happy to go to jail, get beat up, and even die if it means more people know about Jesus. Well, God was with Paul when he was getting beat up and put in jail. One night, God even sent an earthquake to open the doors of the jail so Paul could be free. But instead of escaping, Paul stayed to tell the prison guard about Jesus. Later on, Paul was sent to a bigger city with a bigger jail. To get there, he had to take a boat. During hurricane season, one of the storms hit Paul's boat and it got shipwrecked. Sorry. So he had to swim all the way to a nearby island. Picture swimming in the North Pole with penguins. That's how cold Paul was. But as soon as he saw there were people living on the island, what do you think he did? Yep, he taught them about Jesus. Paul never stopped telling people about Jesus and how Jesus loves everyone and wants to help them stop doing wrong things and teach them how to know him. He got put in jail at least four times, was shipwrecked three times, and was even bitten by a poisonous snake. But Paul didn't care what happened. He was so happy knowing God that he just wanted everybody else to know God too. And that's the story of Paul. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Paul was a bully who didn't follow God. God blinded him for three days. Then Paul believed in God, and he spent time getting to know God. He decided to tell everyone about Jesus. He was willing to have rocks thrown at him, go to jail, get beat up, get shipwrecked, or even die as long as he could tell people about God. And that's a part of God's story. So what we need for the spinner is some colouring pens, some string, some card, some paper, scissors and some glue. We also need something round to cut out the shape. I'm going to use a bar and I'll use the top of it. Step one. Step two. We are now going to cut a round circle out of the card and I'm going to use my bars as a template. Just so. Get your parents to help you cut it out. I've already cut one out um, pre-prepared, so we need one round cardboard. That was step two. Step three, I'm going to do the same, but with the paper. So use your circle. Draw around. And can you see that? Yes. So get your parents to cut one out. I've already got one cut ready. Um, but remember, this time we need two to cover the cardboard back in front. Step three. Step four. Now this is where the artistic part comes in. Um, hopefully you will have your cut out piece of paper. And then you can start to colour it in. Because don't forget it's going to spin, so we need to make something which looks fabulous. Um, and I've gone for like a rainbow colours and um, with a heart in the middle for God's love in the middle. So have a go and be creative. Don't forget to do both pieces of the circle. So as you can see, step five, we need some glue, we need our card, and we need our two coloured pieces of paper.
five, complete. We have now got that coloured piece of paper on both sides of our cardboard. Step five. Step six, once it's dried, we need to make two holes. Now, it needs to be either side of the centre. Well, I'm going to do it either side of my heart. So I've got a sharp stick, which if it works correctly, I can actually push it through. You might want your parents to do it with you. So there's one, as you can see. Then on the other side of the middle, and as you can see, So step six, step seven, cut a length of string, I'd say just over a metre long, and start to thread it through the holes. So I've got one through the hole, so I'm going to thread it through the, the other hole. And once you thread it through, then tie a knot at one end. So as you can see, we've got a piece of string going all the way through a spinner. And that's it really, apart from, let's see if it works. That is the final step. Right, the big reveal, let's see if it works. So what we need to do is get, get it to spin, is we have to wind it up. So the easiest way to wind it up is like this. And once you're happy that it's wound up nice and tight, you then pull it tight and you can see it spins. And by loosening it and tightening it, it will actually spin it again. Mm -hmm.